Guinea-Bissau will soon have a new prime minister. He or she will likely be a high-ranking figure from the PAIGC, an opposition party among the coalition that recently won a majority in the parliamentary elections. The PAIGC says it is ready to work with the man they have spent years opposing, President Mbalo. We will respect the president as the head of state. I think he also will respect the coalition. The president is here, we must respect him. But he should not get involved in the business of the new government. As for Madame G15, the party of President Mbalo, they say they still have faith in their leader despite a historic election defeat. The president is not here to defend our party or our party's project. He's here to defend the national interest. For that reason, it truly cannot be said that there will be big divisions between him and the new majority party. Guinea-Bissau will soon have a parliament controlled by the opposition for the first time in its history, a situation that could be risky in a country famed for its political instability. There is no agreement between President Mbalo and the new majority that could negatively impact the functioning of parliament. If that happens, parliament will fall into crisis and the president will have justification to dissolve it and organise an early election. They both have an interest in working together. The next Prime Minister will have their work cut out. Guinea-Bissau is one of the world's poorest countries. The electorate is yearning not just for economic development, but also for improved public services and the upholding of the rule of law.